when I was younger, I was dating someone who's in the streets. When he went in, I was left with zero. And I was just like, why did I, I didn't have my shit together? But he made it to the point where I was not being taken care of, but he was a provider. But he never actually taught me how to provide for myself or for him. In the event. So what would in you have event. done differently? So, I mean, now. Yeah. No, let, the, let's the say story you had repeated with different, you know, people. <laughs> What I learned over the years is that if I'm going to date someone that's in the streets, I have to be able to pick up his slack right. whenever he gets picked up. Mm. Makes sense. You know, and that, that comes with Be smarter. I have to take care of the bills. I have to make sure that he's good. I have to make sure if he has kids, I have to make sure that I can provide for his kids as if he's still outside. And most men, they date women and they damage them and do all this bullshit out, you know, while they're out. And when they go in, they don't have nobody. You don't have no one because while you was out here in the streets, you was doing her dirty. So why would she want to hold you down when you still you was doing her dirty? Like, for what? She was when you come out, you gonna do me dirty again? And on top of that, some of them they go inside, they go inside, and they continue to do the same bullshit that they was doing while they were out. But the only person that's standing on your curtain is the girl that was laying next to you this whole time. Right. Now, being selfish, you didn't set her up, and you didn't actually explain to her like, listen, this is. Eventually, I'm going to get picked up. What are you going to do when it happens? This is the game. They need to give you the game. You know, and a lot of girls don't know. They just, they're happy, enjoying the time, the purses, the vacations and it stuff. But yeah. that time is going to come. And reality is that a lot of us learn it a little too late. But I learned it early. It's like, okay, these are the consequences. And eventually, my man is either going to be taken away or he's going to die. And if we do make it to, you know, a lifetime, it's a blessing. But the reality is that. There's no if. There's a, there's people there's people that actually make it and change their life around and become successful. Yeah, I mean, like, not really just a different some, someone that's I mean, actually a lifetime street dude. Yeah. Like yeah. he has to change. He has to. Ch yeah, transition. some of them some some of them transition and some of them do change, but most of them don't. Well, they're like really start don't. washing and money or something. Let me shit. tell you something. You can transition and you can change, but your past will ever, forever hunt you. You could have done something in yeah. 2019, I mean 2011. You're going to be forever worried about it. And it could come hunt you at yeah. 2023. She must, have, she must have heard my story, man. Don't, like, don't let that statute of limitation now. Yeah, it is the table. I have a lot of friends that are actually going through it. And I'm just like, listen, if you're going to date this man, you got to be, and you love him, and you're going to be with him forever, you got to be prepared that when he goes in, you can pick up his slack and you can be able to provide for his family and yourself. Can I, can I feel right. that's why I say don't do it, y'all? Oh, well, well, yeah. you can't. First of all, I'm going to agree with Jada. I agree with. I told y'all, I'm not that bitch. No, no, no. I'm not that bitch. Find somebody else to do it. <laughs> mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. Because I'm not. I used right. to be a ride or die, but no, now listen. I'm in writing. Jada tells so you. So when no, you no. hop on, on that bus, I, this is the huh? thing. So I agree with. I, huh? The women that took y'all over. Wait, listen. So I I agree with Jada. Shit right now. Find somebody else to do it but like women. at the end of the day there are always still going to be women who are going to choose that lifestyle <laughs> who are going to choose it that struggle x y and z so like if there's any piece of advice that you can give them would it be yo sis set yourself up or like set y'all up hi some y'all because I'm, I'm i'm be what? honest well, no, 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 no 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 i'm be honest like, I'm going to set me up first, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to worry about everybody else. Because if you have no interest in, in making sure that we're set up, you don't give a fuck. Right. Mm -hmm. Because you should be worried about us. And if you're not worried about us, then that leaves me to worry about me. I think mm -hmm. that most men are not worried about us because they feel like as soon as they go in, they be left alone. Everybody really? leaves. They don't, they don't expect anything? They don't expect for people to stay with them. But the reason that people doesn't stay with you is because you wasn't being a good person when you was out. Mm, okay. So why would it stay all those years if you wasn't being good while you were out? Can you I, see what I, I'm I, saying? I, I, I don't want to get too deep, but my daddy in jail, and I know he be... <laughs> <laughs> but look, if you're good so to me... Fed time or stay time? Like, this is becoming too much right now. <laughs> is this Listen, state or fed? Uh -huh. Fed. Oh, better, oh. My, dad, my dad is locked up, and I can I can see that, because it's just like... Who him he feeling left. like he don't have nobody. But, but why? That just, but, but, okay, but what were you doing when you got locked up? You wasn't with me and my mama. That's what she's saying. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm you saying. You have nobody. You wasn't with me and my mama. You was. You was. But your. You see, you wasn't. He wasn't with your mother, so she doesn't owe him anything to be there for him because he was running the streets and whoever was thing. there at the moment, go call them. 
You know, can I say something? Is that fucked but, up, but, though? But wait, wait. He, no, it's not fucked up. But if he was there for your mom and you. So because everything he was doing this street was for you. Was and this, no. yo, wait, no. wait, wait. Not always. No. But wait, wait. So wait. Let me. Can I, I? Let me go real quick, right? You don't even. So know. this is what. This is the thing that that like kind of like makes me. <laughs> this is the thing that like really gets me, right? I love my Is dad. that we have, <laughs> we have. We know. <laughs> come on, bro. Like. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is the thing that really gets me is that it's like. We, we're talking about two different situations, right? We're talking about one situation where a man, and I'm tying them together. Mm -hmm. One situation where an older man is dating a younger girl, and now he's at fault because the younger girl was easy to manipulate. Mm -hmm. Then we're talking about another situation where we have a man who is in the streets, no matter his age, and he was able to provide a certain lifestyle, mm -hmm. and now he goes into jail and or dies, and now she wasn't set up, so we're kind of blaming him. And now I think that men understand what you're here for. Mm -hmm. Men understand that you're only here for the lifestyle. Whether I'm in the streets, whether I'm older, you're only here because what I'm giving you. So Set my thing is, what, what, real, what real loyalty do I really have for you when I know your loyalty is only in what I'm giving? Your loyalty isn't really here with me because I'm a nice person. I'm not saying but, you personally. I'm know. just saying in general, right? Your, the loyalty isn't here because I'm a nice guy. The loyalty isn't here because I'm a gentleman. The loyalty isn't here because I have a great job. The loyalty is here because you're on a flight. You're in the club. You're getting bottles. You're buying the bag. Or you're getting the bag. It was all what I can do for you. So it's like, if I go to jail, or if I'm older and I decide to move on, mm -hmm. I don't really owe you no loyalty because you what? wasn't here for me to begin with. But wait. So nobody I knows anybody needs to leave his dusty wait. ass in jail <laughs> with no commissary. <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> bitch. Like, if, real talk, if that's your, if that, if that's your situation, fuck you. Yeah. I mean, Are you I'm serious? I'm just saying wait. that's the real thing. Because if, I, if, no. I, if, I, if but, I strip away everything that man gave you, would you still date the man in the street? Listen, I want to remind you. are not listening to crazy. all of the facts. Okay, I'm going to listen to Aisha. Right. Sorry. Listen, okay. listen. Let me remind you. Let me remind you, Ellen. Please. Well, I'm sorry, the wrong hand. The wrong I'm about to break this camera. <laughs> I just want to remind you that every man that's in the street is not making money and providing for their woman. Okay? Some of us love y'all for who y'all are. It doesn't matter what you're selling. Yes, you're poor, nigga. Because some of y'all, some of y'all are in the streets and just making money to survive month to month. You're not providing no flights. Damn. You're not providing no vacations. Keep going. You're not paying for no private schools. Keep going. You're not paying my car note. I'm still going to work at the hospital while you're riding my Nissan, selling whatever you're selling. He's not getting money, you know. He's cheating. <laughs> Anybody that's borrowing their fucking girlfriend's car is cheating. Aisha, can I tell you something? No, no, no. He's from Nebraska. Like, I should say it. Yeah. that, because she's right. <laughs> what are we talking about? You ain't dead a street nigga, you're dead in your life, Eric. I'm not talking about, I'm not I talking know about niggas, about though. <laughs> Anybody asks to use my car, this ain't gonna work, baby. Listen, <laughs> I am such a fucking gold digger, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> I've been a gold digger about since my childhood. You see my daddy in jail? <laughs> Wait, my daddy what? made sure I was gonna be a gold digger. Look, nigga, if you can't provide, I'm gonna hide. <laughs> I the love fuck it. What's going on? I'm out of here. Jamie's oh, driving my Honda. I need a bed, and I can't afford it. What I'm saying is, and I'm saying this because I've dated, I've dated men that were hustling every day, but they ain't had nothing. And I, I wasn't getting nothing from them. What is the point of hustling? But listen, Jesus some, some men, listen, some men hustle left and right, but they're just not making the right decisions. And yeah, okay, they might, they might be making, let's say, $1,000 a day or whatever it is, That's right? They, it you, is. Can do, you, <laughs> can, you can do it legally. That's 300000 a year. You can do that legally. <laughs> listen, but they turn around and they go drinking and they're playing dice. Fuck it off.